Cinnamon Nazi! Open your eyes to the lies of social justice. Libertarian candidate for president Joe Jorgensen is unelectable, in my opinion. But this should be the opinion of anyone that's a libertarian, not just me. The reason is that Joe Jorgensen thinks that we must be actively anti-racist. Adopting the oppressive language of far leftists as a libertarian is suicide. What is libertarianism? It is a concept where freedom is the fundamental belief in how the society should function. Everything else defers to freedom, personal liberty, personal autonomy. Anti-racist is not some sort of benevolent language. Anti-racist is a term that basically means anti-white because anti-racist is the language of oppressors, specifically leftist oppressors far leftist oppressors, feminists, social justice warriors, all of these people who are a cancer upon Western societies, all of these people who think that diversity of everything but thought is what is important, all of these people who believe that white people are bad and other people are not bad and that white people do bad things to not white people and that not white people don't do bad things to white people. And if the not white people do bad things to the white people, it's because the white people did something something bad. This is akin to the, well, if she wouldn't have run her mouth, then her husband wouldn't have had to slap her sort of thing that you would get back in the 50s. You know, the golden era when black people were all free. Oh, wait. Oh, I guess it wasn't. Huh. Who'd have guessed? We are seeing a time where segregation has effectively been brought back into American society, especially in universities. There are literally universities now that have areas that are being set aside for black people and areas being set set aside for white people. And those are black and white only spaces for those people to reflect and heal and all this other nonsense. We are seeing the rise of racial segregation and the cows of the public are happy to support it. What is wrong with you people? But back to Joe Jorgensen. The thing is, the tweet where she said, it is not good enough to be racist, we must be actively anti-racist, that was her Aleppo moment. What does Joe Jorgensen have to do with Aleppo? Huh, well, let me tell you a little story. Back in 2016, there was a fairly popular libertarian candidate for president named Gary Johnson. Gary Johnson generally did pretty well. He pulled his own weight until one day, some reporter asked him about Aleppo. What are your thoughts on Aleppo? What are your thoughts about, about the situation in Aleppo? What's going on there? Think about it. And Gary Johnson, in his infinite wisdom, showed just how unaware he is of a pretty major political event at the time by saying, What's Aleppo? The anti-racist requirement tweet is Joe Jorgensen's Aleppo moment. Much like Gary Johnson, this is what killed Joe Jorgensen's legitimacy as a libertarian presidential candidate. The problem with what she said are multiple. First of all, libertarian, you must do. That is a no-no. But here's the other problem. After this went out and it became obvious that it was a problem, Joe Jorgensen and her staff tried to run around and do damage control. Oh no, I meant it this way or blah, blah, blah. It doesn't matter. You adopt the language of far leftists. You go along with the constructs, the ill thought, the terrible, destructive ideological frameworks that are scientifically invalid, by the way, of far leftists, you're legitimizing that. It does not matter why you're doing that. You're legitimizing far leftism and their radicalism. That is not okay, especially for someone who is supposed to be all about defending the liberty of the individual above all other things. When defending against communist, socialist, far leftist psychopaths, you do not adopt their language. You do not attempt to be like one of them and be like, oh, we should be so anti-racist. We, we have to take action against racism. That's not okay. Because the problem is anti-racism is code for anti-white. Now, it, it may be a little difficult to believe that. Like, no, it's just, it's just fighting against people being racist. I don't want people to be racist. 
racist against other people. Well, that's fine and great. But when anti-racism, the term, is spoken by a far leftist, it doesn't mean being against racism. It means being against racism as defined by far leftism, which is power plus privilege. Which means black people can't be racist and white people are always racist. That's what anti-racism really means. So the problem when you adopt this language of these crazy radical psychopaths is that you're legitimizing this redefinition of language. You're going along with it. Enough iterations of this going along with it, and much like the Hitler youth and the Nazi soldiers, you start to believe your own bullshit. That's why this isn't okay. That's why Joe Jorgensen is a big fat no-no. Do not vote for Joe Jorgensen on election day. This is my plea to you. If you value liberty, you cannot vote for Joe Jorgensen because Joe Jorgensen is anti-liberty because she says you must be anti-racist, which means you must be anti-white, which means, ironically, you must be racist. Do you really want to vote for racism by voting for anti-racism? I didn't think so. Joe Jorgensen's so far off the table. Besides, her platform, other than this anti-racism garbage, name one thing that Joe Jorgensen stands for. Well, Joe Jorgensen's not Donald Trump and not Joe Biden and stands for liberty, except, you know, you have to be anti-white. That sounds terrible. That's the worst sales pitch I've ever heard. Hmm. Why would I buy into Joe Jorgensen after that? And the answer is, huh, I wouldn't. This is Feminazi signing off and thanks for listening.